Uganda was the first East African country to deploy soldiers in Somalia in March 2007 to fight Al-Shabaab, the Al-Qaeda-linked terror group. Fifteen years later, the Ugandan army and other troops operating under the African Union mission to Somalia, AMISOM, have flushed the Al-Shabaab militants from Somalia's capital, Mogadishu. However, Army spokesperson Brigadier General Felix Kulaije says the UPDF faces several challenges despite the successes registered in the AMISOM peacekeeping mission. The delay in allowances. Because ideally every soldier is supposed to receive $100 in the mission every month. Now, there are challenges in Addis Ababa that do not enable the uh, uh, mission headquarters to receive these allowances on time. The other, of course, is the replenishment of our equipment. Because of the weather, certainly the breakdown is faster than it should be. The Army admits that it has struggled with the challenge of insufficient force multipliers, such as helicopters, which make it hard to execute missions easily. We have introduced in about four helicopters, uh, but uh, we have been depending on the UN, which have their own regulations and the procedures. At times they are not as available as when the commander wants to deal with them, either to evacuate a wounded soldier or to supply uh, food that may be required or drugs. The Parliamentary Committee on Defense last month visited Ugandan troops in Somalia and recommended their continued stay in the Horn of Africa nation. Meanwhile, Uganda has now fully deployed its 1,000 soldiers in the eastern DRC to help restore peace there. The soldiers are part of the East African Regional Force that is mandated to disarm rebel groups operating in eastern DRC and restore sanity. We have deployed uh, our contingent in the Ituri province, specifically Bunya town. Bunya is the headquarter of the Ituri region, the Ituri province rather, which is our, mand our, our sector as per the East African Region Intervention Force. This deployment means that Uganda now has two operations in eastern DRC, including Operation Shuja, that is battling the Allied Democratic Force rebels. We are not merging the two. The force in Bunia is answerable, is, is under the command of the Kenyan contingent commander, the Kenyan force commander for the, for the East African Regional Force. Uh, and Shuja is our mission a bilateral mission between the FRDC and the UPDF. The East African Community Regional Force is expected to include soldiers from Kenya, Burundi, Uganda and South Sudan. Daniel Kibet, NTV.